What's up, guys? Wait for a few people to come in. What's going on, saying, my man? How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing good. What's going on, Brian? So I wanted to do a live stream because I am super bored at home. And I don't know how you guys are doing, but I'm going crazy, like super crazy. I can't even go out and figure hunt. What up, uncensored gamer? Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to do different, uh, different views every time and what's cool is i got my my webcam working yeah oh you're doing classwork that sucks i'm doing okay fx uh like i said i'm going crazy so like i'm live streaming like a lot and i apologize but like i like talking to you guys and interacting so uh yeah and, and i'm like you know what i should do a live unboxing right and then i got two views like hold on let me uh swing that around i don't know if you'll be able to see it on there or not but I do have a webcam set up and it's um it's recording right now. So uh I'm trying, man. I'm I'm trying to make it good. I I I, I want to interact with you guys. I want to talk with you and see everybody's doing okay. You know what I mean? We're all we're all still good, healthy. And um I hope you don't have the virus. And if you do, I hope this is a providing entertainment to you. I also wanted to do uh, a couple unboxings today. I wanted to do uh, females, and I have three females that I've been wanting to open, but I don't want to do a full-fledged video for it, like an unboxing video. So uh, they're a little bit older, and I'm like, eh, it's old news. Nobody really likes to see that. I mean, unless you guys do, but uh, yeah. So I got three figures I'm gonna unbox, three of them. So I mean, that's pretty cool, right? And uh, what what's cool? Okay, now listen, hear me out, guys. I asked that question last night about um you play ps4 xbox one well i mean I, I have both you know and i was thinking about making a separate account other than my main account that way i can play with you guys if you wanted to if you you guys wanted to team up on a game and uh throw me an invite or i'll throw you an invite and we can play uh no no i'm i'm gonna be doing this probably for about a half hour so probably not saying i'm sorry uh so yeah, if that would be something you guys want to do, we can. Uh, I can actually live stream it with my webcam now, and uh, we'll be able to post that on YouTube, like a live stream on YouTube. How cool would that be with everybody and you can hear the game and people talking? I think that that'd be sweet, and I think it's really cool with you guys. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So is everybody doing good this morning? I got my coffee. I shouldn't be drinking this stuff, but I am. I am. So, uh, yeah, I got my webcam sitting right here to my left. Your right, I guess it would be right now. And I got you guys in front of me. So that's pretty cool. I got two different perspectives. I should uh, I should try to mount it somewhere else. I also have, I, I got a green screen. So I should try to mount that somewhere behind me or get a standee for it. That way I can hang it up and then I can put whatever in the background. I could have Randy Orton sneaking up behind me, trying to RKO me, and then, I mean, it would probably just scare me, so I, I ain't going to do that. Well, anyways, anyways, what's going on, Snicks? What's going on? So, the first thing we're going to unbox is, uh, <laughs> Alistair Black is doing really good for me, Phoenix. Thank you. So, we're going to uh, unbox this Nia Jax that I've had for a while, and, uh, see how that's going how, how she looks outside but uh if you you can look at it she looks pretty cool she comes with two different heads and i like that because uh during this run when they had it she was coming out in different hairstyles and i think they captured that very well the nia Jax on the back with her portrait and on the side all right we'll go ahead and do that um about six if you guys haven't uh, my buddy Uncensored Gamer, he uh, does a lot of video game reviews. He also gets a lot of the classic stuff, like uh, nostalgic. He's he's been collect he just got a, a new Game Gear sports pack, and uh, I was joking with him about if he got the AC adapter because I don't know if you guys are old enough to know who's in this chat room right now. That back in the day, a Game Gear was very popular, but it ate AA batteries. 
So, uh, yeah, you had to get an AC adapter, and that was a hot commodity back in our town. But you have her in her braided extensions. The head scan is really sweet. She looks really nice with that, that smiling. They knocked it out of the park with both of these. And then you got her, uh, I'm trying to be sexy, hair scan. Oh, yeah, man. Uncensored Gamer, one who just uh, just uh, commented and chatted. You guys should go follow him because he does a really cool, really cool reviews. And th his pictures are top notch. Like, uh, very, very great pictures. Now let's go ahead and take her out. I don't know if I'm going to keep her in her um, her head that she's in now or what. I think I might because that's like her, seems to be her wrestling, when she was wrestling. That would be. They use a really good body type on her. I feel um, everything that they chose about this wrestling figure was on point. And I'm, I'm glad that they did her right and did her justice. Like, I'm, I'm surprised that they used a really on-point body mold. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I just burped. Uh, th this is a really nice figure for Nia Jax. And that, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that head scan. The, when Listen. These True FX head scans are amazing. Like, out of the park amazing. And I've said it on several of my videos, but I stand by it. Uh, Alistair Black... It a fan. Uh, next giveaway will be announced when I hit 1,250 followers. So be on the lookout for that. So 1,250 followers, Alistair, I will announce the next giveaway. And it's, it's going to be on par with the, the, um, the bit of the bubbly. Give me one second, okay, guys? I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. So, but like I said, this Nia Jax and uh, her two head scans, super good. Like, on point with all of her facial expressions that she uses. And I think this is an underrated mold. Because that is super good. No problem, man. If you want to, Alistair, go ahead and share my stuff. Get me there faster. <laughs> That's a shameless pug, man. I, I gotta, I gotta get myself out there, right? So if you get, if you guys get me to twelve hundred fifty followers, I want to announce that. So, share the crap out of my stuff, like it, go to my YouTube, subscribe. I, I'm gonna tell you guys to do that all the time, because I just, I just like, I just like sharing everything on all platforms. You know what I mean? So, uh, so let, what do you guys think about this figure? Like I'm not, I don't, I don't know how to say, I'm not a huge women's wrestling collector like figure collector i love the division i love how they had that woman's revolution i do i i love it i think it was the best thing that could have happened in the business because it gave a lot of attention to some extremely talented females uh and i, I couldn't be happier for that because for so long that uh it's bad oh man uh for so long women to be degraded and it was not right, you know, because some of those women that came in had tons of talent, but they were just used as sex objects. So it's, it's unfair. And when these women came in and poured their heart and souls into the ring, it made everybody else take notice. And I, I'm telling you, it's like the best, best thing that could have happened to wrestling. Oh man, Toy Fury on point, hundred percent. Great job, mold detail. The, the head scans are out of this world. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the women's wrestling. I'm so glad that they brought attention to it because they deserved it. And one of the, the females that started that, if you remember, I, I, I'll distinctly remember AJ Lee, CM Punk's wife. She, uh, she finished out Raw. She was the last segment on Raw one night. And Jim Ross actually mentioned, I think... Uh, the day after that Raw was released, I forget which, which one it was, It that was the first time a woman has uh, 
ended had an ending segment on Raw ever, ever. That was huge. They didn't play much on it, but her and Caitlyn had some of the best feuds that you you could have had in wrestling. You know what I mean? Like that's that was big. And then for it to to take a little break and then come back the way it did with Charlotte, Becky, Sasha, Bailey, just. Listen, I can't say enough about it. So that, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this today. Because, I, like I said, I had a few female wrestler figures that I didn't want to do a whole box on, like an unboxing video on. So why not chat with you guys and we can look at these figures together on the spot. Correct? Correct? So, yeah. Let's do that. So I, I unboxed Nia Jax. Let's see. I got two more that I want to unbox for you guys. Which one? Which one do you want to see next? You guys decide. Oscar or Alexa? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Gonna wait. What do you guys want to see? Hmm? Bliss? Oscar. Okay, okay, we got one Bliss, one Oscar. But I'm gonna play this out. We got time. I got all the time in the world. <laughs> my plan's shut down for now. Okay, so it looks like Bliss is getting to buy a landslide. We're going to get Oscar last. All right. Let's get my handy-dandy cutter. Used to work at Walmart. My wife still does. Uh, she's a manager, though. So, and before you say anything, no, I do not get first dibs on wrestling figures. And it sucks because the Walmart that she works at and the manager at, they get nothing. Nothing. But anyways, there is... The front of the box. Bliss looks really cool. I like her. Um, I do enjoy her uh, Survivor Series scan a lot more where she's real serious. But this is a, an okay scan. That's the box, back of it. I do believe these were uh, Walgreens exclusives with the, uh, the women's division. Quote me if uh, I might be wrong, but I do believe that it had. Uh, who, who else is in there? Was it Sha Sasha and Bailey? Were they in that? Or was Bailey the spotlight figure? Because I know Sasha had a WrestleMania figure. But I'm, I'm thinking that the, the women's division was actually a Walgreens exclusive. So that's where I found this. But i never seen the women's division anywhere else. But, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I'm, I might be wrong, but I think that's what it was. Oh, Maurice, you're right. She was in there. Correct. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, open this chick up. That's actually a really cool insert. I don't know if you guys actually keep the inserts. I don't keep them, but this is really cool. Uh, Edward, no, man, I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is a really cool insert. I'm not going to keep it, but I'll just throw it to the side. All right, and she comes with the women's division belt back before it was uh, red and blue. Is it still white? Man, I can't even remember. Yeah, I think it is. You keep your inserts? That's cool. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, yeah. But anyways, that was the women's belt that came with her. <laughs> you know, I got a really good picture idea. I want to take all these empty boxes that I have, and I want to caption it and say, uh, quarantine day five, using empty boxes as... Uh, Em ember <laughs> so I can keep warm no I'm kidding I ain't gonna do that all right you know that's a good idea toy you know what Edward like that's cool I appreciate that you want to show me your collection but why don't you take pictures and post them on your Instagram that way everybody everybody can enjoy your pictures you know what I mean like instead of just me Get some more attention on your figures, man. You're proud of those things. Why don't you post them onto your Instagram and then everybody can enjoy them. You know, we're all one big community. I can't even talk today. One big community. We might as well share it with each other, right? But anyways, so there is the Alexa scan. She looks really good. Um, this scan is pretty nice. Like I said, I like the Survivor Series scan a little bit more. I'm doing all right, fan. How you doing? Yeah, show them figgies. So, 
she does have her skull hands, which is really cool. I want that accessory. I don't think they can make it though. When she used to come out with that that skeletal uh, hand thing, I think that was really cool. But I don't think they can make an accessory because their hands are so small. And actually, it doesn't look like you could take these ones out. These are not interchangeable hands. Do any? You know, it's a good. Actually, uh, Carrie Sane I think had interchangeable. Yeah, it looked, her in a suit is terrible. I didn't like that toy. Uh, her torso, it's really flimsy. I don't like that. But uh, she's just going to be displayed and never moved. So, but I, I like I like this figure a lot. I think it's really nice. Ah, uh, no, that was an elite. That was in the elite line toy. Yeah, man, do it on your story, do it on your wall, too. Edward, I'm telling you, you'll get tons of people. She'll, uh, listen, if you post these pictures on your wall, you'll get tons of people seeing them, man. Liking it, commenting, you can interact with all your fans. You know what I mean? Like, come on, we can get this going. All right, so there she is, the side of her. And uh, that's pretty much it that I want to show on her. But this is a solid figure. I want to give it like at least a 7 out of 10. I think the face cannon could have been a little bit better. She looks really good out of the box. Inside the box, I was kind of like, eh, that head scan's not good. But it really is. I, I think uh, if you wanted to pick something like this up, then uh, you should definitely pick it up. If, this is, if you were on the fence about it, definitely. I would definitely get it. So there's two figures right out there. So, before I open the last one, what do you guys think? I, I was thinking about making a second account on my PlayStation and on my Xbox, and then maybe all of us getting together and playing. You know what I mean? So, uh, getting it, like, having like a community night playing, I don't know, 2K19 because 2K20 is really bad. Sorry. If you got 2K20, sorry you, you uh, got that. Because even the creators came out and said that there are so many things wrong with it, they can't fix it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, man. Like, you're right, Toy Fury. I think, I think you're correct, 100%. So, I mentioned before on a live stream, my cat's getting into the boxes. That's pretty cool. She's going to be the next figure. So I mentioned on a previous live stream that uh, I was tired, and I was, and I do apologize for that. But but uh, the, the reason why is because I work midnights, and I was getting adjusted. So now I'm adjusted to this day shift, and when I go back, well, not day shift, but day life, when I go back to work, it's going to be absolutely terrible. You know what I mean? Like absolutely terrible terrible because I'm going to have to try to stay up all night one night and I still don't know when I'm going back to work because it's kind of kind of upsetting but at least they're paying us so I guess that's that's a positive you know but uh so we are going to move on to Asuka she looks really sweet in her packaging there is the side portrait I still haven't played since what year was punk on uh it was on ps3 Punk was on the on the thing on the cover. Was it 2012, 2013? And there is the back of the box. Looks really good. I think that's a perfect picture that they can use for Asuka. She looks sweet in that picture. But uh, yeah, the last wrestling game that I played was the one with uh, CM Punk on on the cover. I actually met Gangrel, and he was a DLC character that year, and I had him sign the inside booklet. Now listen, here's a story. Here, here's a story. So I, I went to a local event. Gangrel was there. Him and Sabu. I'll post the pictures on my on my uh, Instagram. Let you guys see that. So I was like, cool. You know, I can, I can get this signed. So I got it signed. All right. I was super happy with that. You know, I was like, man, this is awesome. I met Gangrel. You know, I, I should have got Sabu to sign it, but he wasn't in the game. And like I mentioned before, I'm really weird when it comes to things like separation and stuff. Since Sabu wasn't in the game, I didn't want to get his autograph on him. I'm I'm weird. Uh, so 
uh, man, I lost train of thought. Well, anyways, so <laughs> I had that boxed up for years, and <laughs> you guys are gonna like want to hit me. I traded it in the GameStop without even thinking. Because I had no use for the game. I didn't even remember that I had Gangrel's autograph in there. I think I got like $2 for it. Yeah. So that's my story about having Gangrel's autograph and losing it for $2. <laughs> oh, man. See, there you go, Edward. See, like, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Like, if you enjoy it, listen, I want to go on a rant. You guys are holding me up from opening this. This is, this is your fault. But anyway, I'm going to go on a rant. If you enjoy, I am 36 years old, okay? I enjoy doing this. I, I love collecting stuff. I love collecting wrestling figures. I love unboxing it. I love displaying them. And I don't care who knows it. I'll go to work. If I just meet you, that's one of the first things I say. Because I'm proud of it. If nobody supports your hobbies, who cares? It's something you enjoy. Release that shit. You know what I mean? This is you. This is all you. This is something you enjoy. And who cares if they don't like it? This isn't about them. It's about you. All right. Let's open this thing. is the empty and you know what i'm actually uh going to take what you said toy i'm going to keep this insert that way i can put it behind the figures like if i put my uh, light box on it i want to put the figures in front of that and then take pictures i think that's a really good idea thank you for giving that to me man all right so she comes with her uh buki mask it's a really huge staple for her um her persona, her character. I think she plays it well. And that's a really nice lad. Because let's face it, they probably wouldn't... Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, they probably wouldn't... I don't know. I, I never... I'm still used to Jax. Jax Pacific figures. And they... Uh... They would skip on stuff a lot. Like... There was a two-pack with Rob Van Dam, and he had one of the coolest. It was the Dragon. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was a two-pack with the Dragon. No, there is no rub on his uh, singlet. Well, on the back, it was completely white, and it was uh, a big letdown. Like, so when when I say that I'm really excited about these little things that are included, it's because. I, I still remember Jax. <laughs> they were good, man. And, you know, they put on a wide scale of who was released. Jax did. But it still was pretty... They skipped a lot of stuff, man. Like, they were really skimpy. Wow. Okay. So this Asuka... Her feet will not move. And I'll probably break it if I try to move it. Like, at all. She is very flimsy. But she comes with this headdress. The headdress is really cool. I'm enjoying that. But her feet will not move. And it's going to uh, cause a lot of difficulties displaying her with Carrie. But that's okay. I'll figure it out. Always figure it out. But the head scan is amazing. It's like Asuka's face right there. She has her uh, little flailing whatever for that, which is cool. Oh, that's removable. So she has a removable armband right here that she came with. All right. So she is pretty sick looking. I enjoy it. And anybody ever notice that she has her uh, thong underwear on the outside of her attire? <laughs> I don't know. You can kind of tell. Yeah, tassel. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that is all three figures that I'm going to unbox. Maybe. Is Ancestor Gamer still here? You still here? I wonder. 
I wonder if he's still here. Because if he's here, I have to ask him a question. Is there a way to see who's here? Yes. Okay, so answer cigarette. You're still here. Okay. Uh, this is your call. All right. Should I unbox the Batman with the armor? Or should I do an unboxing video for the Batman with the armor? That is the question. Look at, look at that. She's like, oh, she's like a bobblehead. Ridiculous. Okay. I appreciate the enthusiasm, guys. Oh, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Can I think about it? Uh, articulation for her is very stiff, except for right here. Look, look how easy that is. I'm not even putting any pressure on it. But, okay, Uncensored Gamer. He, uh, he has a good point, make a dedicated video. But yeah, the articulation is very bad. This is a six out of 10. The only thing that saves it for me is the Kabuki mask, the, uh, the headdress, and the head scan. Everything else about this. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. All right, buddy. Good, Edward. I'm glad that you did. Because now, instead of just one person enjoying it, you have however many Instagram people that can can look at it. You know what I mean? So. But what's good, Toy, is her feet are frozen in such a way that I can just set her down and she stands. So I don't have to worry about anything. Nothing. She just stands up by herself. Uh yeah, you know what? Let me get it. One second, all right? Be right back. Okay, so it's not 57. It's 67. And I'm unsure if I want to open it or not. Because I just, I don't, I don't want to open them yet. But I'll show them off. But if if it's if it's really is fifty seven Jeff, I don't I don't have that one. I have sixty seven. But I don't want to open him yet. I kind of want to get another Jeff. I kind of want to keep him mock. I want to get the USA chase for yes. That's exactly what I want. I want to get the red, white, and blue one. And I want to uh, no. I do not. I do not have the chase version. I want to keep the chase version mock. And I want to. I'll open this when I get the other one mock. Yes. So when, when I get the other one mock, I'll open him. Like I said, I'm weird. I have to have one to replace the other, if that makes sense. But that's it. That, that's, uh, that is the Jeff Hardy. All right. So a dedicated video will be uh, Batman. He will be a dedicated unboxing. Uh, check out my Instagram stories because I have questions up there that I really want you guys to answer truthfully, 100%. I don't care. I'm not going to get offended by it. Uh, I just have ideas. And um, and if you guys don't like it, that's cool. I want you guys to know. I want you guys to tell me because if I'm entertaining you guys, obviously you're looking at my content. So I'm giving you a release from your everyday. And I appreciate you guys for watching me. Uh, so let me know what you want to see. You know what I mean? So I'll ask these questions periodically if I'm doing something. Like I posted uh, a picture this morning. I was going to start getting creative. And I, I, I stopped. I, I just, I don't want to do something that's going to be like drastically change how I do things. I want, I, I want to gradually get there with you guys. You know what I mean? So like. If you don't want me doing a talk show, I'm not going to do a talk show. But I do want to still do, because I have this idea where I can record uh, video chats. So if I can record video chats, that means 
with your guys' consent, if you agree to it, we can video chat on Skype or something, and you can show off your collection for a future video of mine. And I can record that, and that can be your segment. You know what I mean? Instead, so instead of me doing shout-outs every time I do an unboxing, we could take a tour of your collection, and you can answer a couple questions on why did you start collecting? Uh, what was your favorite figure? Show it off. You know what I mean? So, like, that's a really good idea, I feel. And it's something that I need to branch out on. So, I'm not going to do the talk show just yet. We might build up to that. You might want to start seeing that. You know what I mean? So, I still need to... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you guys would want to watch that. So, that's what I want to do. That's my future plan. And I have to try that out first. To either uh, on Uncensored Gamer, I was going to either get in touch with him. There's another person, Retro Nightmare. And I have a couple other people that are interested that I, I messaged first. Because the first people I want to do this with are going to be experimental you know what I mean so like if it messes up and it doesn't record sound or something no big loss because I didn't have to like do hard hard work I just just want to try it out first with them like close people and then I'll branch out to the community and then we'll start doing more and more every time I do an unboxing so like it's it's not going to be a list I'm just going to be like hey I really want to get in touch with that guy so i'll message that person it's not going to be at, at one point maybe you know if i'm doing a live stream i'll be like yo uh phoenix you know what i mean you you want me to video chat you on skype and and listen if you're under the, i can't stress this enough because social media is so weird now and we can do this if you're under the age of 18, I would 100% enjoy it if your parents were present or uh, they give me the okay if I talk to them. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm just putting that out there. If you're under the age of 18, I'm going to have to get parental consent to so we can have an interview and you can show off your collection for a video. I just have to have that. You know what I mean? And I have to have that documented because social media is a weird platform. And I don't want to do something that's going to get me in trouble for nothing, for just having fun. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys understand that. So, but again, I hope you guys understand. Cool? All right. So I'm glad. Anyways, so I need you guys. To help me out to get to 1,250 followers. Once I hit that, I'm going to announce the next contest. The next contest is going to be on par with a bit of the bubbly. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, and you guys can't get it out of me. We have to get that mark first. That's how it works. Because as soon as I hit that 1,250, there's going to be a post that goes up. And on that post, it's going to have the contest. What is that contest? We don't know. I know. You don't know. Maybe. Maybe, Phoenix. It all, it all depends. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what the contest, man. You guys got to get me there first. Y'all got to get me. That's how this works. That's how this works. Because there might be something out of my collection that I'm giving away. But it's not. It's not. It's 100% it's not. You are not getting anything out of my collection. Go ahead. That is my personal collection. You ain't getting it. But I'll buy you something. That's what I, that's basically what I do. I buy something, and then I give it away. But you guys got to share me. You got to get me to that 1250. And once we get there, we'll know it. So that's enough about free stuff, okay? Uh, shoot me some ideas right now while we got this time. What do you want to see more of on future videos? Like, I do the unboxings. Um, I know people like it when I do the edits. I have a good time putting the edits in. Like, uh, with Jason knocking some dude's head off and uh, the big feats and stuff like that. 
I, I want to get ideas from you guys. Oh, and it, before I do this, for those who just joined, we did uh, three unboxings. Uh, we unboxed Nia Jax, which is really sweet. This is a really good figure. I think this is a 10 out of 10 for uh, her figure itself. Um, we also unboxed uh, Alexa Bliss. Okay. Actually, that's a good idea, Phoenix. Uh, and we did Asuka. The Asuka got a 6 out of 10 because this figure is stiff as hell. The, the torso moves like with barely anything. Uh, the only thing that saved it was the headdress, the head scan, and uh, the Buki mask. But, uh, but anyways. But uh, I, don't, I can't do stop motion. I don't know how to do that. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, listen. Okay. This is this is how we get here. Okay. You guys just gave me an idea to do. I can't do that. But apparently, you guys know. Yeah, I'll check it out. We're give me a minute. Uh, if you guys have something that you want me to put on the video. That would be pretty cool. That's a good concept. I uh, I would need a structure to that. Um, I would have to get a, a compile a list of who does stop motions and at, and like feature them accordingly. You know what I mean? I can't just have a million people messaging me for their stop motions. Uh, but yeah, that... I don't have an MVP figure. I don't got one. So I can't do the lounge. So we're, we're going we're gonna to work on these and broaden these ideas. And I appreciate you guys giving them to me. It's really cool. But uh, if you guys have anything else to say, feel free to message me. And uh, we'll, if I have time, I'll, I mean, I got time, but I'll, uh, I'll have to message you back if I'm not doing anything, but, uh, I don't have anything to post today. I might take, uh, some of these figures and do some glamour shots. I'm going to start filming for the next unboxing tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Wednesday. So by Thursday night. That unboxing should be up. All right. Thursday or Friday, I'll put that unboxing up. And um, I'm going to get with a couple people first. What's up, Sam? And I want to try out that, that screen recording collection tour. If it works out, great. And it works out as I, I think it's going to work out. Then... No, nah, Edward. Uh, I'll check out your videos, but I'm it. It won't show up with my phone, man. It won't show up on a computer screen. It's too bright for the the the, uh, the camera. But anyways, so if that works out perfect, to where I I feel that is good enough to be on the video, and I want to start reaching out to you guys, seeing if you want to be on the next one. That sound cool? Sound cool? So, but since this is recorded, I could, uh, what I want to do is I'll put this up on YouTube and it'll also be on my, my, uh, it'll be on my story so you guys can view it again. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. We unboxed a few really cool figures. Uh, one of them was a dud to me, but it's still got a six out of 10. And um, I hope that you guys have a really good day. Stay safe. Stay away from people. Cherish your family. You know what I mean? And, and be, be just, you're blessed. You're blessed to be here right now watching me. I mean, you're not blessed for watching me. You're, you're blessed because you're, you're alive. You know what I mean? You're here. You're healthy. You're good. And you're enjoying life. You're watching about wrestling figures and we're enjoying them together.
So I would like to take this and the video. Have a good day, guys. I hope everything's well. Take it easy. Peace.